Welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 7, Episode 10. This is Syndrome with Breaking the Stream Gaming. Last time we left off, we had just finished rescuing the dwarves of the Red Dwarf Mine and sabotaging the lift to the Medusa Lair. Uh, now I think that our goal is going to be to secure Master Water Magic as quickly as we can. So to that end, we're going to be making our way over to the Nihon area. But before we do that, I want to go and pick up a spellbook of the Town Portal spell. Uh, this will let us zip around the world much faster than we have been, so it's important to pick that up. Luckily, the Master Guild of Water is located in the It's the end of the day here, so I'm just going to wait until the morning and then see if I get lucky. Uh, we did. Okay, so here we have our Book of Town Portal. Just making sure we don't need anything else. I wish that we'd also be able to get the uh, Enchant Item spell, but uh, not the end of the world. We wouldn't use that until we're a Grandmaster anyway. Okay, so having secured that, I think that the fastest way for us to get there is actually... Now that I say that, I see or across the way, but it's Kirker, so I don't um, Our fastest path to get there is to head to the stables, and instead of taking them, I think that we are just going to walk to the Barrow Downs, which I believe is just over here. Five days to make it to the Barrow Downs. I'll go ahead and put up our standard buffs. And I'm also going to cast the Water Walk spell. We'll make traversing this zone quite a bit easier. Nobody ever turned down free gold in the ground, so pick this up. Taking a look at the map, I believe that the easiest way for us to get there should actually be just to the south here. I think there's a path that will lead up to, yes, this platform. Just going to bypass all the enemies, even though at this point they should. Eh. I could always use a little bit more experience. Now that the knight is doing a considerable amount of damage, uh, it makes things just that much easier. Although it looks like the cleric was paralyzed. I'm sorry, the paladin was paralyzed. Do I have any scrolls? Or Potions left that will fix that. Looks like we have just one. If I remember correctly, the Paladin was or rather the rogue was knocked unconscious last time you were here, so I wasn't able to loot that chest. Okay, here we are in Stone City. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and turn in this quest. I just noticed a chest on the corner of my eye, but that's not a chest anymore. I think I got it. So first I'll make my way to King Hofgar, enter this quest in. Now I always suspected that the king was supposed to give us a significant reward, other than just this 5,000 gold here. Um, his engineers are going to head to Castle Thermidale and fix that up for us, so next time we return there, the castle will have been repaired and other sections will be accessible to us. Uh, what I meant earlier is that there are these two chests just outside the king's chamber. But when we open them, they're it. empty. Uh, so I, I always thought I that it. as an extra reward for saving the dwarves, he would give us things. But uh, it is not the case, unfortunately. Move! 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 Sometimes you just need to yell. Although there's nothing as intimidating as the yell of an angry elf. 
Right. So now we're going to be entering the tunnel area that we cleared out earlier. Uh, and this time we're going to be taking it all the way to the next zone. Mm -hmm. Now, the tunnels to Nihon are very... They're a fairly dangerous area. They're filled with a bunch of gogs that... Uh, they do a good amount of damage, but we should be able to just kind of dodge our way around. Um, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and... You know, he's probably been weak for too long for me to cure it, but let me just try. Nope, he's good to go. So I'm going to put up uh, regeneration for everybody to give us a little bit of a advantage. With the regeneration up, I uh, probably don't need to heal this minor damage that we've suffered. Ordinarily, I make this journey after getting the invisibility and live spells. Um, it shouldn't be too hard without them. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit more dodging. With invisibility, you can make this trip without uh, getting hit a single time, so it's quite a bit easier. consider this one of the most confusing uh, dungeons in the game, mostly because I never clear out the gogs because I just really hate fighting them. So I've never really learned the path, so I'm hoping that this is the right way that I'm headed, and I think that it is, but uh, we might have to end up doubling back here. be the richest party in the world and I would still pick up gold off the floor. Okay, this pool of water here is familiar to me, so I think that we are on the right track. Let's see if that makes this it might be useful. Picking up. Swift is an hmm. impressive buff, but I really don't uh, like using two-handed swords. Complain about a lot of money on the ground. This is less familiar to me, so I think I might have taken a wrong turn. I might have taken a wrong turn, but uh, at least it's turning out to be very much worth my time. Um, I picked up, I don't even know how much, probably 20 or 30,000 gold while I've been out here. So, and actually, there's quite a bit more up ahead, too. So. Um, I just found somebody's skull, Zokar the Fourth. Um, I mean, that has to be for a quest. I just. I'm not sure which quest that's for. That might be one of the optional side quests for either the Light or the Dark Path. But for now, I need to find my way back to the upper levels, because this is definitely not the way out. Was that supposed to hurt? Was that supposed to hurt? Luckily, golems don't do all that much damage, at least not with their attacks. They do more damage when you kill them, which is 
one of the many reasons that they are my least favorite enemy in the game. Okay, I think that I was was on the right path. I just made a wrong turn somewhere. So I'm gonna retrace my steps a little bit here. Maybe this is the way that we need to go. Was that supposed to hurt? Okay, yeah, this isn't. So here you can find good. the tunnel into Thunderfist Mountain. <laughs> now Thunderfist Mountain is quite a bit more dangerous than uh, these tunnels. It's filled with Minotaur and Evil Knights. Uh, Minotaur are just really mean, and the high tier ones, I believe, have a spell that will just outright kill a character. The Evil Eyes, on the other hand, are mean because they dispel all your buffs. Now, thankfully, since I don't have Light Magic yet, and I am too lazy to cast buffs individually, I'm not really running with any buffs at the moment. So, for now, they're just going to be kind of free experience almost. They don't do a ton of damage, so... Just go ahead and kill those. Um, at this point, I'm looking for any entrance out of this tunnel. Um, doesn't matter which one, I will take the first one that I see. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that's not ideal, but uh, that's not the end of the world. I wonder if a minotaur snuck up behind me and just killed me outright. Thankfully, um, we weren't relying on him for the fly spell anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and use that on the paladin and make my way to the main town area. I can find it. I think it's right in the center of the zone. Here we are. So. It is early in the morning, so unfortunately, the temple, much like in Deja, is not going to... Oh, I take it back. It is... So, I can... Oh! Hmm. That's not great. <laughs> well, at least his voice is better. Uh, hmm. That was not what I had expected. I'm assuming that we can get this cured at a normal temple, I hope. Uh huh. So we'll see about that. Um, uh, hopefully, he can still actually train his skills because that's going to be incredibly annoying if he can't. Okay, good. He can. So he can train his skill. Um, so I'll go ahead and give him the <laughs> the town porter spell. Um. Hmm. Okay, now, while I'm here and I have the fly spell active, I do want to go and pick up some clothes. Uh, let's see here. There should be a large volcano. Actually, I think that we started near it. Yeah, this is it. So, in the... At the top of this volcano is a bunch of ore. I think some of it is Stalt, the highest tier. So, I'm going to try and get that if I can. Pretty nasty enemies. Um, so I'm going to do this in turn based. Since I really don't want to hit attacking me from behind while I'm trying to climb this volcano. Might have to use the jump spell here and there to get to the top of it, but I think that it'll be worth it. Man, I, I almost want to keep him as a zombie just so that his voice is less annoying, but uh, I probably shouldn't do that. Okay, so here we have our first piece of stall-laced ore. 
we should be able to get a few of them. Um, if the rocks don't kill us. So I guess I'll go other direction and see what I can find. There's a second piece. Third piece. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> easy come, easy go, I guess, but uh, we'll have to find a safe way down now that we don't have the Featherfall spell. Um, I was planning on jumping into the volcano to get the last piece, Ow. but uh, I think I'm going to have to save that for a return trip. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make my way down as safely Ow. as I can. Uh, we, we might not make it here. Okay, good. I'm not dead yet. Made it just far enough away that, uh, or rather, to a low enough altitude that our fly spell kicked back in. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm going to go turn both of them. Yeah, I'll just, <laughs> I'm just going to turn Syndrome Must back into Zombie. I just Must missed that, apparently. Okay, um, well, I guess I'm just going to, well... The next day isn't even right, but it'll work. Okay, so now that he's in the safety of town, we're going to go ahead and pass town portal back to... Oh, I don't know. Let's say Tularia. I'm thinking that our next stop is going to be going to Avli. So in Tularia, let's, uh, let's go to the temple and see if they can actually heal him. How may we help? Okay, good. They don't. And it was rather inexpensive. So all the better. Okay, so our next goal is to get Master Air and Fire Magic. Um, fire Magic is easy. That's back in Harmondale, so we'll take care of that last. Uh, for now, though, we really want to go and get Air Magic out of Avli, since that will open up the world to us with the live spell. So first I'll check and see if the carriage will take a sec. It does not. Um, I think that we tested this last time, and Avli is where it takes us when the carriage takes us to those places. Excellent. Ooh, that audio bug is terrible. Okay, so from Avli, uh, first we're going to go and turn in our quest to... I don't remember what his name is. Sneagle? Steel. Steel Snick. Alright, so that did confirm that the sabotage worked. Uh, the sniper is the Evil Path Archer promotion quest, so we'll never have to deal with him again. Uh, let's see. Master Air Magic is in one of these tents, I believe. One of them is right in this area here. Maybe it's up in one of those hills. Master Air Magic. That will completely change how hey, the game is played. Useful. Hey, this should be useful. Okay, a few items that look like they need to be repaired. What time is it? August 12th. Okay, now that we have the fly spell, we'll go and take care of a few things. Looks like the shop up here. Fine elfish weapon. Nothing useful that I can see, but we can sell some loot that we picked up. Thank you for your coming. How may I help? Head and repair that chain armor and make sure that we don't accidentally sell it. So we can go ahead and 
Put that. This she should be fair, I hope. That equipped. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and sell everything we need. Figures. Like this will help. And we are still pretty using some pretty lousy hats, so I think I will pick up that Marlin Helm. That's right there. Who wears it? So we'll just put it on her. Okay, so with the fly spell, um, I'm going to take a quick trip into Wyvern territory to get a start on the Druid promotion quest. The Druid promotion quest requires using three water pedestals in kind of a stonehenge looking circle um, i believe they're located here in avli uh, one is in tatalia and then the last one is in it might be in the ever evermore islands i i don't remember off the top of my head but in any case uh now that we've taken care of that uh, what would be our best bet? We we picked up that Stalt Orb in Nihon. Um, that's going to be really useful, hopefully. Um, I'll... Yeah, why don't, why don't we go take care of that? So I'm going to transport over to Aravia real quick. Now, I think that our best bet right now is probably to get a weapon... And a suit of armor so i think that i will call this video here and i'll pick it up next time after i use these npcs uh just to give you an example of how this works though uh, but do this um each of these npcs has a bank item button so that one creates items which can be anything from potions and scrolls to jewelry pieces make armor or make weapon so over here i'm just going to make a weapon and we got Great. champion sword of the gods so that's that's pretty decent um so I'll, I'll go ahead and give that to him so that takes care of our weapon situation um and then let's let's put a piece let me see i'm not sure if that was a piece of stalt or if that was something lesser i'm i'm not sure what order it does it in if it's from low to high or high to low so making a suit of armor, we got a great, pretty good set of leather. So, well, on the one hand, it is eight more armor, but the enchantment on this is just better. So, I'm not sure what we're about to do. In any case, uh, with my last two pieces, I'm going to go ahead and uh, load the game until I get something useful with them. So, I will pick this up next episode. Thanks for viewing.